Here's your host, Alex Garrett. Hey, so remember that congressman who had to be censured and actually paid a $1,000 fine for being uh, an asshat and pulling the fire alarm during a crucial vote in the House last year? Remember that representative by the name of Jamal Bowman? I'm not going to make this, and you better not make this podcast, a race thing because it's not. This guy is now up for Congress uh, re-election. He's going to be up for re-election in New York's 16th district. And tonight he debates against George Latimer. Now, Latimer is the current Westchester County executive. And whether you like him or not, um, I think if he ousts Bowman, who is a member of the squad, by the way, um, that would be better for Congress. That would be showing that we are not going to lean into that far left ism, if you will, of Jamal Bowman and the squad. But here's another thing that I think Latimer, who did not pay for this ad, by the way, should bring up. This is one of the most compelling ads I've heard on TV in the campaign cycle in quite a while. What happened to decency? It's gone in Jamal Bowman's New York. Jamal Bowman put a cop killer up on a middle school's wall of honor, calling the killer a tremendous figure. It's the same Bowman who spent his career pushing dangerous conspiracy theories praising a known anti-Semite who claimed Jews were responsible for 9-11. New York deserves better than Jamal Bowman. Fair Shake is responsible for the content of this ad. And this is a very powerful ad. I mean, the cop killer thing. When he put up on the in a Bronx high school, according to Carl Campanile. By the way, Carl Campanile makes a point that they didn't even censure Jamal Bowman for this act. But, here's what happened. According to Carl Campanile of the New York Post, Bowman recently defended placing cop killer and fugitive Joanne Chesimond on his Bronx Middle School's Hall of Honor when he was the principal. Now, this is from the Detectives Endowment Association President, Paul DiGiacomo. He said, as early as March, we do not believe Bowman represents any modern or enlightened values and is himself a disgrace to his own profession. Story reads on from Campanile. Bowman was recently asked at a community forum on whether he regretted honoring Chesterman, a.k.a. Asada Shakur, a black militant on the FBI's most wanted list. She was convicted, by the way, with two others in the execution slaying of New Jersey State Trooper Werner Forrester in 1973 before escaping jail and fleeing to Cuba. Bowman then responded to this question, who are you to tell anyone on how they should engage in their own history and the people in their history? Bowman said uh, this past February at a Yonkers 3rd Precinct community, council meeting. So he's been pretty defiant that he allowed this cop killer on the wall in his uh, former Bronx Middle School. But I think this is a case Latimer has to bring to the debate tonight if I was advising his campaign. Now, of course, uh, if a Democrat wins this seat, it does razor thin the margin, I think, a little bit. But The point here is that this is a big primary, and I hope that people come to their senses and, in the Democratic side at least, you know, vote for someone who is a seasoned vet, a, a established vet. Whether you like what he's done with the gun shows in Westchester City, County or not, whether you like the way he's um, been a Democrat or, or whatever his policies – I think he is a far more better choice than Bowman, and I'm very curious to see what happens in tonight's debate. I'm only weighing into this one because when I saw that ad by Fairshake, which is a crypto uh, firm, by the way, they're a cryptocurrency company, and apparently he's voted three times against crypto, has Bowman, so of course the crypto folks are not happy with him. 
So they made that ad separate from Latimer's campaign. I have to stress that. But if you hear that ad, you think of that, how powerful it is. It's one of the most powerful ads you'll ever hear. And of course, to hit him with the anti-Semitic connection is not racist. It's not wrong. It's basically saying what it is. And at a time where most of that squad is supporting these college campuses, uh, people for protesting on them, uh, and really rioters for protesting on them, it, it's a little unnerving that he's part of a squad that supports a, college, a university telling Jewish, Jewish students, don't come back to campus. He's part of a squad that supports uh, pro-Palestinian protesters. Are they even protesters or are they really just, you know, when they do things like ask Z Jewish people in a subway car in New York, are you Zionist? Multiple times, a la uh, the 1940s Germany and 1930s Germany. We've really gone back in time when I hear that clip. And I don't think that should be accepted. I think that should have been called out a long time ago. And I, I don't understand. I just don't understand how no one on the left has called out that behavior of literally making Jewish people leave the subway car in New York City. Is this 1934 or 2024? I mean, really, come on now. Where is the in condemnation? Of that. It's too painful to play. This is. It's not even worth playing. Because that's what they want. They want the, the play. I'm not going to play it for you. But if you watch the video. Of them telling. Jewish people. To get out of a subway car. That's not. Pat protesting. That's pure evil. That's pure evil. That doesn't get across the free Palestine message. That gets across. We hate Jewish people, anti-Semitic message. And that's not right. So if you can vote in NY16, and if you have a choice in the Democratic primary, I just don't think Bowman is the guy. Not because of his skin color, not because of anything else, because I, I'm saying that because a lot of people who are seemingly supportive of Bowman are calling those against him you know, racist and this, that, and the other, and actually really saying bad things about the Jewish people for supporting Latimer. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that horrible? I, I won't stand for it. But I'm going to take a stand before the PIX11 debate tonight because that record should be called out. Carl Campanillo's high article in the New York Post should be highlighted. That, that uh, audio piece, that ad should be played again and again. And I know Latimer didn't fund it, but my goodness, that is a huge um, thing that swings in his favor. That ad alone. i me play it to you one more time. What happened to decency? It's gone in Jamal Bowman's New York. Jamal Bowman put a cop killer up on a middle school's wall of honor, calling the killer a tremendous figure. It's the same Bowman who spent his career pushing dangerous conspiracy theories, praising a known anti-Semite who claimed Jews were responsible for 9-11. New York deserves better than Jamal Bowman. Fair Shake is responsible for the content of this ad. So, Fair Shake doing a lot of good work in that ad, and it's, it's just remember, if your heart isn't called to vote for Bowman, it's not racist, it's just common sense on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network.